Hello everyone, welcome back to The Voice. We're reporting today on the sexual assault awareness and dress code walkout that happened today on September 7th. I'm Allie Jorgensen and we have Abby Panier behind the camera. And we're gonna share some stories that people have today and we've had some great speakers. So let's go ahead and see what happened. has been complicit and refuses to address the issue of sexual harassment and assault at our school. We have to be better. This cannot be our future. I'm Callan and I'm a sophomore and I kind of want to say that it's kind of sad that it kind of takes us having to be out here and actually protesting for something to actually like happen and it's sad that something's not already happening. Another thing I'd like to say is that going around town I had to buy an alarm and pepper spray because I would be followed from boys from this school and it's just like sad that we actually have to fear our peers. My name is Simon Solomon. I'm currently a sophomore. I'm out here today to represent my woman, not only because I have empathy for women, but because I feel what they're feeling. I understand why they tear up. I understand what they experience. Not a lot of guys understand why they're really out here. There's so many women out here that want to share their story but can't. They're isolated. They're afraid, they're afraid of the backlash that will come with them voicing what happened. And that's why I'm out here. I'm out here to make women feel safe. I'm out here because I want to represent them. It happens to men too. Girls can be rapists. Men can be rapists. Literally, no matter who you are, no matter what you identify as, if you were assaulted, no matter who assaulted you, you're valid in that. If it's a woman and you're a man, you're valid. If you're non-binary and it's a, another non-binary person, you're valid. If it's, if it's a, I am Kat Goodman and I am a senior. I walked out today because I myself am a victim of sexual assault and rape and uh, it means a lot to me that people are doing this and as hard as it is, it does get better. It does, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It could take years, decades even, but it will get better and you just have to keep pushing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We've had some amazing speakers and some super brave people telling us their stories. Uh, if you ever need anything at all, there is a crisis uh, tip line on the back of your ID, as well as many counselors and other social workers here at the school to help you out. If you ever need anything at all, come talk to us here at The Voice. Uh, go to our Instagram, our Twitter, Facebook. I know we have a TikTok now. Um, and feel free to look at the website. Thanks so much for watching.